Yeah, battling the grass fire in hot weather like this can be extremely taxing on the body. That's why more than 200 Hines County volunteer firefighters who could be called on to jump into action at any moment, they're getting special attention to stay safe. Volunteer firefighters across the metro on alert for wildfires after the governor issued a statewide burn ban. What we do is we'll page multiple departments. We won't just send one to a fire. Hines County ELC Director Ricky Moore is also county fire coordinator. Moore supervises 250 volunteers at 12 county fire stations. They will be on the front lines if a grass fire breaks out. These grass fires and woods fires are man manpower intensive. It takes a lot of people. And it, at this kind of heat, it doesn't take them long before they burn out. Moore said they recently stocked fire stations with plenty of water. Make sure uh, if we have a large fire that we send uh, AMR out there to supplement them, make sure they get rehydrated if something happens to them. Now, the county also has something called a rehab unit. It's kind of like a cooling center, a large truck where firefighters can go in and cool off to keep from overheating. Live in Byram, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.